Oh, hey friends, today I'm standing in the middle of a slew of the Clark Fork River in Missoula, Montana, and it is January. What a beautiful day, huh? Anyways, friends who live here have just completed a streamside restoration project. I'm going to show you the project from start to finish. Friends Pete and Daisy had cars like this uh, lining the riverbank in front of their place. Years ago, old cars were used as uh, help for erosion, but really it just trash and an eyesore and uh, no longer helpful as years of ice have compressed the cars, uh, rusted, it was time to remove them. Good afternoon. My name is David Pontrelli. I own a company called Streamside Services and I love stream restoration. Uh, we're here with Glacier Excavation completing approximately 320 feet of stream bank restoration. Earlier today, we had a visit from an 80 year old gentleman who grew up very near where we are, just a half a mile from here or so. And he mentioned that when he first moved here, Third Street, which is the main thoroughfare that goes by the property here, used to be a dirt road. And there was a gate at this particular location, exactly where we are now doing this work. And all the neighbors would bring their household garbage not to mention their dead cars, dead tractors, old engines, transmissions, things of those natures here, but they would actually dump their household refuse over this precise bank where we're working now. We have found in the excavation process some very interesting old garbage, including some of the older beer cans that I've ever found uh, doing this type of work. And uh, it's really nice to clean that type of stuff up. And it's also very important to remember that we have come a great distance in our knowledge base and understanding that those types of activities, uh, once practiced because people in essence didn't know better, are certainly something to avoid in the future. Uh, with this type of bank treatment, we utilize large wood stems with the root ball on the end. And that root ball is actually what gets placed on the bank's edge as we build our stabilization treatment. Well, those areas tend to help create outstanding fish habitat because it gives the fish some cover in a normally uncovered reach. As you can see, these fish, if they were in the river, would be vulnerable to a multitude of predators. They have some protection on this bank and lots of the vegetation in the form of cuttings that we've installed and the containers that we will plant on the surface will eventually grow up, help shade the river, and give insects and birds a place to live, which obviously also helps fish habitat because fish love insects. Hi, I'm Pete Kiesel and I'm the homeowner here, me and my wife, Daisy. Uh, asked Dave Pontrelli, and you've already heard from him, to, to change out our riverbank. I'd like to thank not only Dave Pontrelli and Streamside Services, but Kevin Houck, who is with Herrera Engineering, uh, Josiah Denham, who helps source out all the wood, and then uh, Bob Cuff from Glacier Excavation, who came in and did most of the digging. So when we bought this in 98, this was one of the best fishing holes, I think, in the county. When they took out the dam about eight miles upstream, uh, there was no longer that, that slowing down of the water. So in 2017, when we had that flood, and actually where I'm standing right now, I would have been underwater and there was water up into our yard. Uh, we lost about 10 cars. So since 2017, we've been watching what's been happening on this bank. When we bought this in 98, we knew that if the cars went, we had to take care of that. And so, as they went, it, it took us a while, obviously, to get the permitting and, and those sorts of things done. But we knew that we had to do something because once the car started going, it was just going to eat away. And then you might have 30 cars or 40 cars downstream, which obviously isn't good for the river. So we contacted Dave in March and the Missoula Conservation District. We had everybody come and look. Uh, they all said, oh, yeah, you need to get this done. My understanding is that from a permitting perspective, our permits were submitted in middle of July, I think. 
And then we were actually approved in October, which is incredibly quick. Uh, one of my friends who lives down the river about three quarters of a mile, I want to say he took 15 months to get his bank project done so that he could stop the erosion that was occurring behind his home. So what does it mean for Daisy and I? Well, first off, what it means is we don't have to worry about littering the river, right? Because ultimately those cars were our responsibility because they were attached here. So having Dave come in here and doing this, we don't have to worry about the river itself. We don't have to worry about losing land and having it eventually get to our house, which is probably what was going to happen. Although we're probably 20 years away from that based on this distance. And it's just nice to know that now, uh, and Lisa was here earlier, uh, we saw a deer right across the way here. Uh, three years ago, that deer could have never come across this part of the river to come up into our yard. But now because of the sloping and because of what it looks like, we now have a much more natural uh, stream bank. And so then wild game and actually our dog uh, can go back and forth, whereas they couldn't have done so before because we had those cars in there. Uh, earlier, Lisa had mentioned when she was out putting in cameras to see some of the fish that we still have, uh, that there's a lot of metal in the stream. I don't know if Dave Pontrelli covered this, but permitting wise, we were permitted to pull out all the cars along 300 feet of bank. And we were able to reach into the water and whatever was within reach of the arm could be pulled out of the river. So we were asked to clean up the river, but we actually weren't permitted to go into it because it kicks up all the silt. So uh, she was just mentioning that there's still an awful lot of metal in the bottom of this, uh, in the bottom of this river. And we wanted to take care of that, but it wasn't part of our permitting. So this is last day. Yeah, this is our final day on site, I think here. Yep, we're cleaning up the very last of the metal. Uh, we're doing some handwork. We're gonna do some seeding, uh, some we're going to do some uh, some straw. We're going to lay down a couple different applications of straw. One is a straw waddle to help keep any surface interaction off of the areas that will accumulate snow in the yard uh, from coming down onto our stream bank project and rilling into the river. And we're also going to be seeding and then laying some weed free straw over the top of our seed. Uh, we're afforded some pretty nice weather in mid December here in the Missoula Valley, and we're going to take advantage of it try to finish this thing up and get ready for the holidays. So happy holidays to you guys. Thank you. How many days has this project taken? I believe we are on, let's see here. I think this is construction day 10 or 11, as I remember. I, th I think we're on day 11. Uh, and that's just in the construction process. These projects take an immense amount of planning uh, and they're, they often, they often take so much planning that it, it is it encompasses two construction seasons, one to plan and then one to actually do the work. Um, the permit process is quite extensive on projects like this. It's actually not the work itself that is the hardest part, in my opinion. It's getting to the point where you're ready to begin the work on site that tends to take most of the effort. But I think it's important because I think a lot of people, they don't know what to do and who might help with this. And I feel, I feel like if we could just get the message out that we can, we can help with these types of things. And what may seem to be an impossible or at a minimum a very daunting task uh, can actually be accomplished fairly readily. It is a tremendous amount of work, but I mean, it, it can be done. And there certainly are, are ways um, or, you know, there certainly are people to help in this process if, if anyone does need that help.